The Grange is now home to Heritage Mississauga, but it once housed Dr. Beaumont Wilson Bowen Dixie, his family, and his medical practice. The house was used to treat patients and perform surgeries. Sadly, illness took its toll on the family as well, and three of the Dixie children died in the house. Could today's reports of paranormal activity be tied to the tragedy that befell the Dixie family? Mommy? To Heritage Mississauga director Jamie Gaspar, it's a plausible theory that explains the spirit that seems to dislike anything being moved in the house. The concern I have with the gentleman upstairs possibly that you know, doesn't like us to shift things. Um, what came to mind was Dr. Beaumont Dixie, who ha owned this house, possibly mm -hmm. used the summer kitchen as a, as a surgery, as a doctor's office. Usually in, in, in the cases that the room here would have been blocked off from the house, mm -hmm. so the family would have lived in the house, whereas the surgery would have been in the summer kitchen, a place where you could come and go easily through the back door. You know, is that a patient, maybe, that <laughs> yeah. didn't like his treatment or didn't want to leave, wanted to stay here, or maybe passed away here? But in a home where so many people have dwelled over the decades, many of whom whose identities remain unknown, identifying the spirit or spirits who remain in the Grange is difficult. You know what's interesting about not just this particular building, but all the historic places that we've been is People today, we don't build our own homes. No. And the people who may or may not be haunting these buildings did in fact build them themselves or you know, were involved in the building. So when it becomes that personal, you can almost understand them not wanting to let go. Because it's not just a building to them, it's their dream. Mm -hmm. And it's certainly uh, you know, the building of a very hard life, the difficult life uh, if you built a log cabin the difficult life you had here in, in Toronto Township and sort of the wild community that we had, wow, you know, I can't imagine having to, um, you know, sort of build a house, clear an entire field and put a crop in in 18 months with the winters that we would have had, with the rain that there would have been. And they don't have electricity, they don't have plumbing, they don't have any amenities. And just so in awe of the work that they did and, and how strong they were. And you're right, so the connection to those first buildings, to those places, and this is one of the oldest buildings in Mississauga. So we, we definitely have a, a longer history having you know, pioneers in the true sense of the word. And, and true that, you know, sort of that connection to the spirit and connection to the stewardship of taking care, I think is really, really strong. And it's a tie that, you know, maybe it's, it's you know, one of the, the servants of Sir John Beverly Robinson who built the house. Yeah. It could even go back that far. We don't know. The Grange is also filled with antiques. So could the haunting be tied to an artifact instead of the house itself? everything from books to antiques, and then we've got our sewing machine over here. What if one of your antiques is holding on to a spirit? It's very possible. They say that items tend to bring spirits with them, from a lantern to the sewing machine to uh, a Sears uh, Eaton's broom to, to whatever we have is, is very much out in the open. But we've had someone think uh, think they've come across a, a, a cat and a dog and we have of course the pipe smoke which would mm -hmm. connect me to the two men but then we have the one volunteer who who swears she heard two little old ladies on rocking chairs rocking back and forth talking who are they yeah you know did they come with the sewing machine I, I, it know, sounds it's possible, possible doesn't it it's very plausible it really is because you never know, they do, they do say that items can bring the spirits with them, that they can be connected to objects, and certainly in our case, we, as I said, could have a party because we've got so many different yeah. family momentum, mementos and yeah. family objects that have come from, from uh, large pictures, large portraits. I mean, anything is possible. We could, uh, could have the spirit party going on here for sure. Coming up on Ghosts of Mississauga, could the spirits in the building be historian Matthew Wilkinson's ancestors?
Uh, some people have suggested that's why the, the, uh, the ghost, if you will, have left me alone. And did the Heritage Mississauga team stir up a few ghosts while they delved into the city's history? The pictures have orbs in them when we're in a cemetery. Have you had a brush with the paranormal? Share your stories with us at www.ghostofmississauga.com.